So Ubisoft finally responds to the Star Wars Outlaw season pass backlash and says Jabba the Hutt is part of the experience for all players. The publisher has come under fire for locking the Jabba's Gambit mission behind Star Wars Outlaw's controversial season pass, which comes with a $109.99 gold edition and an even more expensive $129.99 ultimate edition. This end quotes it says, play the exclusive Jabba's Gambit mission at launch. Season pass explainer reads, just as Kay is putting together a crew for the Kando Bite heist, she receives a job from Jabba the Hutt himself. Turns out that ND5 owes Jabba a debt from years ago, and he has come to collect. The revelation sparked a backlash with some players criticizing Ubisoft's decision to lock a mission behind a season pass for what is full price, single player only game. And now Ubisoft has issued a statement insisting that Jabba the Hutt and the Hutt Cartel will be part of the experience for all players regardless of which edition they buy. They said to clarify Jabba the Hutt and the Hutt Cartel are one of the main syndicates in Star Wars Outlaws and will be part of the experience for everyone who purchases the game, regardless of edition. A Ubisoft spokesperson told IGN the Jabba's Gambit mission is an optional additional mission with the Hutt Cartel along Kay and Nyx's journey across the Outer Rim. This mission will be available to those who purchase the season pass or in addition to the game which includes the season pass. However, the scope of Jabba's Gambit mission remains unclear, leaving those who do not buy the season pass unsure of what they're missing out on. Ubisoft has said in the past that players can work for and even betray Jabba as the head of one of Star Wars Outlaw's criminal factions. So I think that this is still going to be a pretty cool game. I think the factions will be really cool. And I think it'll be cool to be able to work for or, you know, go against Jabba at times. Something I'm not a big fan of, and I said this in my other video about the Ubisoft stuff and the controversy is, why are we locking things behind paywalls? Like $70 for a base game nowadays. Keep in mind, it has been up $10. Used to be $60 for base games. Now it's up $10 to $70. That's what we're paying for the base game. No content added, no season pass. So we're gonna get you know, a $70 game and have to pay probably another 25 for a season pass. And in my opinion, it's just a little ridiculous that things are blocked behind paywalls. I mean, this has been something that did not work with EA in the past with Battlefront 1. And so they released Battlefront 2 with nothing you know, behind paywalls. You know, so things like that, I thought were ironed out for Star Wars video games. Clearly they have not been. And clearly, you know, Star Wars is just all over the place right now with their games and movies. Things don't really align together. And uh, yeah, it's just it's just in a bad spot right now with these things. I think this game has potential to be really, really cool. But if this is the kind of stuff we're seeing already, I think a lot of people will not buy the game. And especially not the $110 plus edition. I think $110 for a game is way too much money. We're not talking about an Elden Ring here. We're not talking about GTA 5. We're talking about a Star Wars game with a character that we do not know, a character we do not get to customize, etc. So I'm just, you know, hopeful for the game. I'm probably going to wait a little bit until there's a sale and then buy the game. But let me know what you guys think. Are you going to buy it? What are you going to do? And I hope you guys have a great day.